This guy snuck into the Bohemian Grove? This guy's Ryan Garcia, dude. Bohemian Grove is real. They can tie me down. They can't touch me. I'm a god. The context. The Bohemian Grove, an elite invitation-only social club founded in San Francisco in 1872 by a group of male artists, writers, actors, lawyers, and journalists of all means interested in arts and culture. Uh, let's That's see. That's me sneaking inside Bohemian Grove. Dude, yeah, I'm cooked. I gotta run. An invite only secret society of American elites Ooh. gather in the woods two weeks out of every year. I've seen the Alex Jones footage. We're just trying to learn what's going on with the owl. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. You don't know. The locals were immediately on guard. You know anything about the Bohemian Grove? I worked there before, yeah. You worked there? Yes. Whoa, what did you see? Uh, a lot of things that I cannot talk about. Actually? Yeah. This guy's talking to a random homeless guy in San Fran talking about, oh yeah, you used to work at the Bohemian Grove. <laughs> the fucking guy's sleeping bag is right here. What are you talking about, fam? You know anything about the Bohemian Grove? Yeah, I used to work there like 10, 15 years ago. Oh, I don't want to be on camera. Oh. You know they plan That's the bombing for Hiroshima and Nagasaki there? What was that? <laughs> Never mind. Everyone here knew something about the Grove until they saw my little camera. It's probably not a good place to be going unless you know what you're doing. What do you mean? Um, there's a lot of rich, uh, crazy people up there. Father was in. Oh, he was in the club? Yeah. Who was he? He's a mason. Oh, he's a mason? 39th. Did you inherit his will? His Freemason will? I can't, I can't disclose that. Yes, he did. That's why he's, he's chilling outside of this random ass place. You know anything about the Bohemian Grove? No, know lots about the Bohemian Grove. Dude, why are all these people just sitting around? <laughs> Who are these people? Usually, now listen, I'm not gonna sit here and speculate, but usually if people are, you know, sitting around in the middle of the day on street corners and on the foot of steps and stuff, they're homeless. They're usually homeless people, especially in San Francisco. <laughs> So I don't know that these are the most uh, unbiased people in the world. Yeah, these are either 100% placed individuals there because he needs a video or they're a bunch of homeless people. Would you like to share? No. Is, it, uh, is there some darkness to it? Don't film me. Hit the road. Okay. Yeah, you can't really get up there though. Can't get in? You seen any crazy things or no? Sometimes. Yeah. W homeless guy that was like, hey man, fuck out of here. I think a lot of naughty naughty goes up there, you know? They just let things go free and let loose. Hey, nothing wrong with that. What's wrong with letting things hang a little loose? What's wrong with a little naughty naughty, bro? Claimed to have folded George Bush's underwear when they came to town. You know anything about the Bohemian Grove? Too much. Too much? What do you know? I have actually folded laundry for the Bohemian Grove before when I need- I don't even think this is supposed to be on camera. Someone cover them things up. Needed to, so all of their laundry is processed through the laundromat. So I have folded George Bush's sheets for heaven's sakes. Uh, you will start to see a lot of helicopters flying in directly to the property. Um, Bill Clinton's been there, George Bush has been there. It has been rumored that the next president has always decided there before it occurs, but that is a rumor. I have literally had Grovers. Some dude forgot his credit card and handed me his Grove card as collateral. And I'm Whoa. like, a Grove card? They're so exclusive, they got their own card. They don't even need a Chase debit, bro. We got a Grove card. Where does, does that only work at the Grove? Can you use your Grove card at the freaking 7-Eleven after you leave the freaking elitist orgies or whatever's happening up there? So it says every one of them sounds off what's in their local water. Listen, I've heard enough stories about San Francisco to know the place is not sane, right? There's there's two different halves of San Francisco or the surrounding area. There are, you know, the, the Silicon Valley and the business and the whatever, and then the fucking absolute loony bin. Grove ID. And before the Grove happens, you watch a bunch of limos with high-end hookers come in. They're not allowed to bring women back to the facility, but the boys will stay off campus there. The other things that happen is they hit up all of the locals on where they can get drugs every effing year. <laughs> there was a gentleman that I was- Damn, okay, so essentially, the Grove is a place for cocaine and strippers. Cocaine and hookers, dude. The elites go to the Bohemian Grove to get fucked up and do lines off hookers' backs while they hit them from the back. This is what we're talking about. Again, debauchery at its finest, but the stories you hear about Bohemian Grove are far more sick than that. So I, I'm trying to figure out what the real is. Are, are, are we talking about what Ryan Garcia is talking about and what everybody else is saying? They're over here sacrificing kids and shit? Or is it just a bunch of super wealthy individuals that get together to do cocaine off strippers' buttholes? I need to know. Because one is, like I said, debauchery, but the other one is lock them up for life. Death penalty. Blessed to serve at Main Street's bar for about six years. He actually lived on the Grove year round. You have to be exceptionally rich. You have to be like vetted in through family. Let me ask 17 year old Jimmy where to get weed. Yeah, imagine fucking George Bush. 
<laughs> I just realized that. Imagine George Bush walking up to some random local, the surrounding town, like, hey, where do you guys get cocaine? Where, where, where is all the drugs? Excuse me, guys. I'm gonna need some drugs here, George W. We're up here doing some things that are uh, fully confidential, but if you happen to have any of the X, if you know what I'm talking about, maybe some of that ganja, you could just bring it right on up to the Grove. Drop it at the gate, because I, like I said, it's a little exclusive up there, but if you could, we'd appreciate it. He spent his dying years there. He was actually one of the really nice dudes. He would come into Main Street three times a week for dinner and drinks. Um, it matters not what you have in life, it is how you treat others. So he was one of those that treated the janitor and the CEO with the same dignity and respect. But not all Grovers are the same. They call them Grovers? Is that like from Sesame Street or something? I think Sesame Street's ruined now that they're calling them Grovers. The owl is in his leafy temple. And always in the grove be reverent before him. Well, is, this the, is this the Alex Jones footage? This has got to be the corniest shit I've ever seen. Who would be afraid of anybody like this? You know how, like, everybody looks at the Bohemian Grove and all the stuff that's in it, like, oh my god, how could we, th these people are terrifying. This is crazy. Be afraid. That would sound like the biggest nerdy bullshit pussy shit I've ever seen ever. If I heard a guy going, this is the owl in his leafy temple. Let all within the grove be reverent before him. That's some fucking nerd ass double pair of glasses shit. It's, it, you know what it is? At least from what I'm, I'm I'm starting to piece in my mind. These are all a bunch of rich nerds that want to go and have a fucking campsite boys time. And they, they're socially awkward, or at least they don't know how to be demeaned. Like, they don't have to, they don't have any sort of fear of anything. Like, they don't put fear into anybody. So they go and put hoods on and cloaks and shit and say stuff like this as if it means anything. And all went to the crow, it sounds like a camp counselor waking up the kids. While only elite, wealthy, and famous men are invited, combined with the extreme secrecy and security, this is the only real footage captured inside the event by Alex Jones in the year 2000. Some believe a- They're having a fireworks show! They're having a fucking fireworks show. They're out here having a bonfire and people are like, oh my god, it's the fucking Bohemian Grove. I'm fucking dead. A real human was being- Who is this? Whose man's is this? <laughs> burned alive during the ceremony, and others believe these guys were just hammered, goofing around, letting loose, and talking business. That's what it is, dude. That's what I think this is. Like, there's been so much hype around the Bohemian Grove that I think people have spun it so crazily to... I mean, listen, this is my opinion. I think that old dudes that are mad successful that have nothing to relate to anybody that's living a normal life want to go and talk with their buddies and they need an excuse to do it in secrecy. So they get away from the wives for a weekend and, and whatever. They're, they're significant others and they go do this shit. This is what it is, dude. They're doing demonic sacrifice. See, Draken, you're you're the one that, that I think has just gone off the deep end here. You don't think they're Satan worshipers? Like, in... Life? Maybe, but I don't think that's what this is. But these guys have shit tons of money and they go out and fucking have a good time with the boys. And yeah, okay, maybe there's some hookers that come in and they do fucking lines of coke and they get a little fucking wild. So what? I think people have gotten hyped into this. This is crazy. And that there's nothing demonic or satanic going on here. You think they're all fornicating with one another? Would not surprise me. Yeah. <laughs> that's where all the big wigs hang out. Okay. That's where they party. Again, who is this guy? Wigs are we talking? Everybody. White House people. <laughs> You've been invited? Uh, no. Would you go if you were? I have gone. Oh, yeah, I would. See, last time, uh... My was, man is uh, like, yeah! Let me get in there. Listen, I might be old, but I'm still ready to go, dude. I'm still ready to go. I'm trying to see what kind of hookers they bring in there. I'm trying to see what's really happening. Get my man, Billy Bob, some game. Uh, what's his name running for president? Al Gore. Okay. He, uh, he came through with his his crowd, you know, black SUVs and all that stuff. Yeah, get him uh, some blue chews, dude. For a cocktail, but he refused that one. <laughs> but they were on their way to the Grove at the time. Do you think you all fornicate with one another? Oh, I know they do. You have proof? No. <laughs> they have some rituals and stuff, and you have to, like, pay a large fee to be part of them. All the weird stuff. I it's a rich guy's club, dude. I think it happens out at that Bohemian. I really don't know, except for just hearing stories but who knows who knows what goes on out there man i don't i'd rather not know <laughs> do you think they're engaging in any wizardry or druid craft i, I, I do I, I believe that there's some ma something magical uh, you know <laughs> spiritual or something out there but uh it's called lsd 
That's the magical, spiritual, lyrical, miracle shit they're on. It's a bunch of dudes doing LSD in the woods. You seen anything interesting about the Bohemian Grove since you've been here? Wow, there, uh, you know, there's been a lot of political protests and that sort of thing. But I, I don't really uh, know much about that. Yeah, bro, they're butt touching and doing drugs. That's it. Dead. They butt touching and doing drugs. People are in fear. That's what I'm saying, dude. How can you be in fear? of a bunch of people that want to go and freaking play grab ass in the woods on drugs. Not even the homeless guys can be fooled right now. They're not out here being like, oh, the demon worshipers, they go up there, brother. No, they're like, yeah, a bunch of rich white dudes go up and fuck each other up there. And they bring in some hookers from time to time to get busy with as well, just so they can convince wifey that it wasn't just all them together. It turns out not everyone feels too comfortable with the idea of a group of elites meeting in the secrecy of the woods to decide the fate of the rest of the country. The workers <laughs> at Bohemian Grove are safe. They're club. comfortable with it as long as it's in a government building. You can do it while still on drugs in Washington, D.C., or you can go in the backwoods of San Francisco and line up a row of hookers while you're doing it. Gee, hey, one of them's out of line, okay? Just put the suits on and do it in D.C. For wage theft. In fact, one worker described members as obscenely wealthy with private jets, multi-million dollar cars, $200,000 watches, homes on the beach in Malibu. They said that they would have to perform tasks that were beyond their job duties, including such as one instance where a billionaire member forgot to bring underwear to the camp and the valets were asked to hand wash it. I remember when I was- Oh my God. As a child, my mom used to protest. Really? Yeah. That was the scoop right there. That was it. That was the scoop. My man's for, he, he came for the fuck fest. He came through, ready to get his freak on. Got so excited about this freaking orgy that he forgot to pack underwear. And man said, yo, I'm going to have to wear these again tomorrow. Can someone clean them? The Bohemian Grove is not washing underwear, dude. What was she protesting? Them coming here? Uh, white men of privilege living exclusive lifestyles. Okay. Not sharing the wealth. As I walked into a bookstore where the owner assured me he- <laughs> Eat the Rich is fucking hilarious to me too. Handpicked every book. Something about this town felt off. Like you can't go to Bohemia. Sure. It's at the Bohemia Club. Oh, I see, okay. Yeah. Like there's security and fences and- And yeah. they don't stay here. No, they stay there. It's super interesting. I mean, and you can find a lot of stuff online. There's not a lot of published stuff about it because they're really secret. But we've tried to go onto the grounds and they've told us to leave. Ooh, you think we tried to get in, we'd get in? I People are upset. They're like, they've we've tried to go on private property and they've told us to leave. Like, yeah, we, we tried to trespass on private property and they said we, we can't be there. Yeah, <laughs> that's how shit works. When you look at this stuff in a vacuum, it's so fucking hilarious. Like, you just break this shit down and think about it with a general, like, a, a, a just a normal brain. The people that, that make up all these stories about the Bohemian Grove all for it to be just an exclusive club on private property for people that have a shit ton of money that want to get away for a couple of weekends a year and do shit that's just fucking weird that they want to do. It's hilarious. Try, try. Yeah? Yeah, try. Hey there. They're like, yeah, yeah, go get the Bohemian Grove. You can't go there. Can't go there? Okay, you ever see them come through here? No, not really. No? No, these guys are pretty secretive. All right. You try to get in there and get caught, bye-bye. I'm dead? <laughs> it's very possible. They got security left and right there. <laughs> I'm dead? <laughs> Won't even get through the front gate, my friend. Not even a parking lot. They're that strict. So I headed G down towards the nearby river to scout out a potential entryway via water. Bohemian Grove is all the way over those trees. We're looking to find an owl out here. Um, I do know if you go down that road and- Bunch of normal people in this area of San Francisco. Guy with a fucking Monopoly top hat on and a walking stick. Take a left. If you keep going, there's like a barricade. It's like a weird fence. It almost looks like a bunch of metal wrapped around it and everything. It's really weird. Creepy? Kind of creepy. Almost like a Resident Evil kind of vibe. Ooh. You know anything I should know about it? Nah, not really. Other than it's highly sec like security's always on patrol with them. Oh, we get people coming in for Bohemian and everything, and you can just tell about the cars and all that stuff. So Lamborghinis or like SUVs. A little bit of both. If you were to see a Grove member, would you be able to recognize one? Sometimes, like in the summer when they're there, because they have like certain like uh, they they is it that all white uh, thing sometimes. Wearing like all white garb? Yeah, yeah. yeah but not, not okay. <laughs> okay. He said they wear all white garb and then showed a fucking video of the KKK. That's a little bit spooky. I know there's a bunch of hookers that fucking stay over here while they're. Are they hot? Uh, yeah, I mean, yeah, but they charge way too much. Talk. Okay, no, nah, my man's normal. It's a normal dude right here. All right, he's the he's the first one.
That's a sensible man right there, dude. He's not paying that much for those hookers. Fuck them. Hey, no. I'm be honest with me. I'm just, uh, I'm taking a day worth of bullshit to begin with. Cook! <laughs> Cook, my man! He's cooking! Half of them know what they're doing. They're around with, really. Okay. But I mean, you know, mine looks like an ancient Sumerian god. And, oh, uh, here I'm we sure go. You saw an owl driving in here, too, on that little lodge. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm doing with, I mean, it's somehow related to it. But there's a lot of owls around here, too. So it couldn't just be that they picked it because there's a shit ton of owls in the area. It's got to be some fucking demon worship and shit. So you go to an area, right? You want to establish this place. You're looking for a place to, to establish this club you want to be in, right? All these elites, they're like, all right, well, let's buy some land. All right, what's the mascot of our club? Well, okay, let's look around the area. Fuck, there's a shit ton of owls here. Maybe we should just do that. What is Moloch? What's like the simplified version of? As far as I know, Moloch was uh, some sort of uh, Semitic god. I know they sacrificed uh, children to him and stuff. The only one that we know about, the, the big ritual there is they have that big owl statue and they burn a child in effigy for the what is it the cremation of care yeah yeah do you think they're burning kids out there i think they have possibly in the past the man in this fucking spray painted car and his son with a receding mohawk have just confirmed that they are indeed burning kids at the bohemian grove it's un like yeah click it's undeniable proof back there before when i worked really yeah i worked for a second if they did it in the past why did they stop they just decided you know what hey we're going too far with this bro Really? Yeah. Do you think to go back there's a little kid and they'd fucking come after us? Like when I was like 10 years old, you could just like just crawl under a barbed wire fence. Cause you know, like up front, it's not that. It's sure. not like a prison or anything. It's not crazy, but uh, they would get pissed for sure. There's a yeah, I would get pissed too if people kept trying to cross into private property. <laughs> People are like, I don't know why they got so mad. There's all these signs that are like, don't enter, don't enter. And then we tried to get in and they got upset with us. Yeah, why Why are they not stealing the kids that try to invade? What, what the fuck? I thought this was, we were burning kids at the stake. But these 10-year-olds sneak into the venue and they don't steal them? Why would they not steal them and use them for the whatever? Telling kids to leave equals sacrificing kids. Yeah, what the fuck? I thought this was the game plan. <laughs> After learning as much as I could from the locals and waiting until the cover of the night, it was now time to see if I could infiltrate the grove using an inflatable kayak I bought off Amazon, <laughs> avoid security. <laughs> this is the place that is highly fortified security. The place that are, that are committing the most evil amongst evil things happening in the world. And this motherfucker's like, yeah, I got a kayak off Amazon that I'm going to use to go in. <laughs> and make my way to the 40-foot tall owl statue undetected. Good lord, bro. I'm fucking dead. Hey, fair play to this guy for committing to the bit, though, you know what I'm saying, and making this video. 12, you can see if she loads. Yeah, she's jump in, right? We think it filled it all the way up. It's like sinking immediately. <laughs> this is a terrible, this is a terrible business review for Amazon products. The only problem was the moment I got in this kayak. I don't know if it's gonna float, dude. <sighs> it filled up halfway with river water, soaking me entirely, and the current was so fast I was getting pulled downstream. And had no chance of paddling up shore where I needed to go. I'm, sink. I'm getting swept out. I'm fucked. I'm fucked. Turns too strong. Oh, yeah. side, I'm just walking up. No, dude, I'm cooked. Did you make it across? No, dude. Yeah, that I'm was real footage, guys. Sucked in. I'm fighting for surviving right now. It's dude. real footage. This is what's happening. Got a branch. We're in the clear. I'm alive. Can you just get out? Dude, the current is fucking Man. ridiculous. <laughs> imagine trying to party and there's YouTubers trying to kayak their way in. Yeah, imagine these dudes are just in the woods fucking. Right? In the in the in the privacy of their private property, they're out there just having a good old time. Just old dudes fucking wrinkly asses moving around. And here comes this motherfucker on his makeshift Amazon air balloon kayak. Hey, I'm in the shore. I'm just trying to climb up the hill and get out of here. Kayak is gone. I'm fighting for survival. After yanking myself out of the river and crawling my way through someone's backyard, I barely made it back. There. Crawling my way through someone's backyard. So now this man is just trespassing. He's just said, fuck it. Your yard, don't care. He's the actual creepy one. People are in their houses just trying to like enjoy their night and this motherfucker's just walking through your backyard. Land, my kayak was swallowed oh by God. the river and I had to think of another way to get in the grove before sunrise. 
we need to re-strategize the game plan right now because I don't see any feasible way. I love that he's wearing camo. You gotta blend into your environment. I failed to get in through the Russian River via kayak, so now we're just gonna bull rush straight through the mountains, jump over any fences if I see them, and hopefully not get caught. So he's just gonna walk through the front door, essentially. He's gonna do the thing that every single person that he's talked to up until this point has said, yeah, you know, we tried to just go in and the security got mad at us. He's just gonna do that. Sunrise, the plan was now to hike up the woods right to the left of the main entrance, stealth hike around the security through the mountains until I made it to the owl. Oh uh, my God. This is a curse. This is a curse backup plan. Oh, no, we've no. we've paved a random mountain road. I'm thinking this is probably the plan we should have done from the start. You might be right. The kayak was a death sentence out there. I'm surprised I didn't die or drown. The water was cold. I was full of water. Blake is legit gonna drop me off. I'm gonna rush into the mountains mm -hmm. with no light, just straight up. Ah. For legal reasons, this is all generated by AI. I'm a little bit shell-shocked. I don't even know what the fuck that was. That ain't hold up in court, brother. Last experience, and I am afraid of how this plays out. I do not want to go to jail. <sighs> that would suck. Here into the woods and go. You probably shouldn't do this, then. There better be a good ending. Yeah, he better fucking... I better see some devil worshipping live on YouTube. That better be what the ending of this is. As I'm crouch hiking in pure darkness for two hours straight, I make it to this point on the map, and on my life, I hear what sounds like human feet crunching leaves in front of me, and... <sighs> <sighs> Fucking security guard is trying to run this motherfucker down, but it's an old man. At this point, I'm afraid for my life. So, I run down the hill and decide to bum rush the main gate and see if I can sprint my way to the owl without getting caught by security. Shot? <laughs> Yeah, he made it three steps. This man entered the gate and immediately they're like, uh, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> oh. Yeah, get his ass. Look at. <laughs> Bro, the fucking guard dog is a chihuahua. <laughs> the guard dog is a chihuahua this is the 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 level of security for the demon worshiping they got a chihuahua dog dude <laughs> watch out bro this is dangerous shit you're getting involved with what in the world i gotta run <laughs> chihuahua ran at me it was legitimately a scared out of my mind. I ran as far as I could to Blake in the getaway the, car. And we the, back. the hell hounds have arrived. The fucking hounds of hell are here. Back to our hotel to think of a final strategy to get into Bohemian Grove before sunrise. Dude, is this like he don't get the hint? Down to the hotel, drank a Red Bull. It's a good thing he fueled well for this trip. He's got fucking Cheez Its, Snickers, Goldfish, and he already just destroyed one bag of Goldfish, and peanut butter crackers. Is this guy fucking 12? And decided I would have to try one last time. Right there. That's where you're going. Yeah, I'm going in. All right, brother. Pray for me. Pray for me. Pray for me, he says. <laughs> There's a big fucking sign there that says no trespassing. 5 a.m. When I jumped the gate this time, the guards must have been asleep or taking a dump because no one saw me and I ran into the cover of the darkness towards the owl, making sure to turn my flashlight off to remain undetected. Just gotta hop the gate. Persistence on this guy is something else, though. He's All right, we made it in. Oh my God, it's stadium theater seating! Oh my God! Fuck's sake, there's a staging platform behind us. This is it. Yeah. Now you fucked up. Here they come. Truck just drove by. Yeah, now you fucked up. As I planked on the ground. Here comes the freaking heralds of the devil themselves about to fuck you up in their freaking Ford trucks, dude. I pass me. He whips the car to the left, shining the light straight onto me, and I'm done. Yeah. yeah. Now you're done for. We gotta go. Carry something. He's just come on a little bit further. Dark spirit's about to drag him to hell, baby. Die. Drag him to hell! Straight to hell with him! Get out of there. Oh my God. <laughs> Jesus. 
just imagine he runs into some fucking orgy? Oh my god. Alright, I'm, I'm sorry. Hi, right, I'm sorry. Oh I'm sorry. Thank you for sparing me. Goodbye. <laughs> Thank you for sparing me. Shut your fucking mouth, dude. Sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. Dude's just annoyed that this motherfucker has tried to pass the gate three times in a night, and he's like, bro, can you get the fuck out of here? He's like, thank you for sparing my life! Didn't quite make it to the owl. I think I was on my act. I made it to the cathedral thing. I saw him pull in. He went off-road. I was like, fuck, he's not messing around. So I sped out of there, and I made it out alive. Please don't sue me. We were just curious. I apologize. But you had to let us satisfy that curiosity. While I risked my life to get a mere glimpse into the secret world of the powerful elite. <laughs> this cow, Bezos, dude. What a fucking dork. Decide on how us peasants shall live. Just know that whatever happens, I would never kill myself. Also, whoever has the most viewed TikTok or- Is this dude for real? So yeah, there it is. The most hilarious attempt at making the Bohemian Grove look in any way sinister fell completely fucking flat. The place is clearly, at least in my opinion, clearly is a place where rich dudes that are nerds and have nothing else to do with their time because they have shit tons of money and a bunch of time to spend it, go out for a weekend, hire a bunch of hookers, and fuck each other. That's it. That's all. You've all been scammed into thinking this is some sort of sinister devil worshiping thing when in reality rich dudes with a lot of time on their hands just want to go fuck there's the bohemian grove in a nutshell if you don't believe me you can take a look at the high level security that they employ a chihuahua and a dude in an f-150 there you go bro there you go uh the bohemian grove exposed